Hey everybody, welcome back to Days Well Spent. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to rejuvenate our shade cover over our garden. Uh, we built this one seven years ago and it's held up pretty good for seven years um, for untreated wood, but as you can see, it's rotted out now and um, it's time to demolish it and build it anew. Can't even, <laughs> it's so rotted, I can't even unscrew the the screw there you go look at that here's another weird thing that happened with our wood one is we get these red wasps on here all the time and if you reached up and touched it you get stung and it has something to do with the wood i don't know what it is but those red wasps seem to like that wood all right so everything's tore apart now all we have is our poles and our original hardware we're going to reuse this uh for our, our our new framework but we are changing the framework this time um, one one thing is due to the cost of lumber lumber is a lot higher than it was when we first made this um, it was eight dollars and fifty cents for a two by four which is the same that we paid we paid like it dollar eighty or two dollars for the two by fours before and we got seven years out of it so this time we're going to adjust and we're going to use uh, metal construction studs instead and uh, so this will be pretty much permanent won't have to worry about it rotting out on us in the in a few years. So we've got two of the main supports in, and what we're going to do for this video is we'll just pause occasionally, give you guys some clips of what's going on. Okay, so we notched that and we folded the groove in so that we can slide that in there. That'll go all the way across and we'll put a screw at the top and bottom to hold it and that's our, our uh, cross members. So we've got our first cross support up, just need to screw it in. You put a piece of vice grips there at the corner, it'll hold the two pieces of metal together so that you can get your screw in. There you go. Now on this back side of the stud, we had to create a bracket and we just used some of the scrap that we had cut off and then we'll slide the cross beam into here and that'll work the way it works on the other beams where we do have the lip and down underneath you can see that support that we made The structure is all put together. All that's left, we cut those ends off, is to file those down. All right, well, so we've got our shade cover, our old wood shade cover repurposed using these new metal studs. It's not quite time to put the cover on it yet. We're still a couple of months out from that. And as you can see, it's not really anything growing in the garden or it doesn't look like there is. We've got our seeds planted. A few of them have started coming up, but we're still a couple of weeks away from getting our tomatoes and peppers that are um, inside out and actually into the garden planted down in the soil. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, and visit dayswellspent.com.